Ah. All right, Elephant Crunch is coming in. Let's see. Ya. Oh yeah, I see the skeleton. There he is. Just, just flying slow, just to see if everything is set right. But everything should be working. Not shooting. Yeah, yeah. So we need to get this other side the same, and you basically came all the way to the back and went. One, two, three, four, five blocks back. Yeah, I guess they haven't activated the mirror uh, building yet. If you put down a block on one side, it will be... I guess they haven't like added the mirror uh, mechanics yet. Wait. Oh, no, they have the mirror mechanics on here, but they're kind of, in my opinion, they're a little bit broken. Um, you can add, but you can't remove in mirror. Okay. Mm, well, no. okay. So right now we're just kind of doing a rough layout, trying to figure out if we like the shape and whatnot. So we're only doing one side. Otherwise, we have twice as much to take off. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the uh, that's the drawback to it right now. But and we're used to building like this anyways, though. So yeah. I mean, once we get once we get our rough. Uh, shape out we can always throw mirror mode on and crank it out real fast and all that but um that and we're upgrading a block uh, a lot of our blocks because we have hardened blocks not combat steel blocks so you have to go through and harden them up individually anyway so eh with what we got it's kind of easier to do it this way for now or you can't mirror build with hardened blocks well, you can mirror build with it, but you can't um, mirror upgrade with it. Okay. Like a sheet, I have to stop, upgrade that entire sheet, go over, upgrade the next sheet before I could put a layer on top of it. Interesting. I mean, I don't know. It's kind of just preference, really. Oh my god, you lose perspective so much in space. Like, this is like way bigger than I thought. So are you doing a room in the back for your uh, capital ship? Let's say what now? Are you making a docking station big enough so you can dock this other big ship in it? No, you can't dock um, a capital ship to a capital ship. Ah, uh, okay. They don't dock. Um, the small vessels can. What we're what we're looking at is this big square in the middle where the little red ship is, the red and black one, that's going to be the landing pad for small vessels to come in and land. Um, the arms on the side are going to be filled with cargo containers so that we have massive storage and I'm planning on building a small vessel that resembles a forklift that is going to have a stack of cargo containers on the front of it so that we could bring it out unload from a small vessel into that and then take that into our actual cargo areas and transfer it there that way we don't have to run back and forth with only what's in our inventory we can move massive amounts relatively quickly it, I know we have the menu and we can just do it from standing there, but this way it gives it more of a visual look. Oh, I like that a lot. Uh, that's a good idea. And you're like planning maybe using this ship to create the trade platform space station? Um, this is what we were planning on using for like, um, trading Mass with, trade uh, rounds. Yeah, trading with the other factions, like, the with the scale that we're wanting to do trades on, we're wanting to be able to go to, like, say, the asteroid field and call up the wolves and the nomads and be like, hey, and maybe even the pirates, I don't know, it just depends, and be like, hey, we need to trade, you know, we have 30 cargo boxes full of cargo that we want to trade off. You know, if y'all are wanting to trade, bring your goods over here now and have everyone kind of meet us at one location. 
type thing. That way, you know, if the pirates decide they want to show up and attack the big cargo ships, they could show up, or if they're wanting to attack the individual ships as they come and go, you know, it gives them a chance to do so. Yeah, I like that. It's really cool. At the same time, it would give us reason to say, hey, we need to bring in a couple escort ships, or we need an escort ship, plus we need to call in one of the wolves to um, actually escort the the fleet in so that we have, you know, a little bodyguard sitting there. Yes, I was just thinking that that if you if you want to like trade with other faction, like there will be one person or two persons in, in this one, and then we may might have like two other ships for protection. I would be in one of them, and another one would be in the other one. Right. That would be really cool. That that could be really fun. Yes, that's kind of that's kind of what we're looking at. Um, like I said, this uh, the ship that I picked you up in was my starter ship that um, basically me and Triggered started. He took his starter ship, we scrapped it, we threw everything onto this ship, and then we just built off of it from there to give us like a little, you know, it's basically a little gunship to provide protection for this ship that we're trying to build now. Yeah, that sounds really good. No, that's, that's kind of what we got. Um, Oblivion, uh, the Oblivion ship over there is um, our uh, our teammate Spartan ship. He's, I'm not sure exactly what his ultimate end goal design is, other than he has a little bit of like a small carrier if you will it's like a yeah i'd say it's a small to medium sized carrier he's trying to build just to hold a bunch of small like fighter style ships i believe so it's nothing nothing big like what the wolves would have but it's you know it's something it's another ship cuz we kind of you know we don't have the the big massive military might but we do try to have some sort of protection for our you know for our trade ships yeah that sounds really good so, like I said, that one, the one we have is kind of like a like a little tank if you will like a small tank and his is going to be more carrier style and Cat Hairs, our uh, other YouTuber in the group, said he likes smaller, faster capital ships, so his is going to be a smaller one, probably. And I'm not sure what your building style is. Um, eh, I don't think I have one yet. Okay, um, whatever, whatever style you want to go for, go for it. Um, I'm not going to tell you, hey, we have too many of this type of ship now. Build whatever you want. Yeah, I'll probably build something that we actually need. Right. Well, and that's that sounds you know that sounds good. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know what we need at the moment. So if you have any ideas for another ship, throw it out there. We um, have mining ships, right? Well, we have a mining drill on the little tank over there, but it's kind of it's kind of bulky for that um we have a player chase or yeah yeah it's chase who wants to be like one of the miners i mean we could have several of whoever i don't really care but he is wanting to do mining um he doesn't really he's he's a rookie he doesn't have very much building skill um, so we might have to help him with some of his stuff. Yeah, I'm fine helping him uh, building stuff. Okay, um, I mean, like I said, I don't know, I don't know, he just said he likes to go collect resources and mine and stuff like that, so he's kind of the designated miner at the moment. <laughs> I've seen, uh, you can get, uh, automatic mines that you put over the ground on the planets. Yes, the auto miners. Do we have that on this server? 
Yes, we do. Um, our base down there is actually sitting on top of a Promethium deposit that we currently have two auto miners sitting in. Um, I plan on, it's basically, we have a landing pad that covers it. I'm planning on opening up that landing pad a little bit and um, each person in the faction is allowed to put down one uh, one auto miner per resource node. So I'd like it to get to where we can, each one of us puts down one auto miner on each of our resource nodes. Um, I got five small bases down there covering resource nodes with auto miners in them currently um oh, yeah, perfect and what i mean small base it's basically a box it has a mini gun a flat gun a plasma gun and a rocket launcher on top of it for defense and that's basically it yeah uh sounds really good like i was talking to the other uh, freelancer faction and there were advising me because I wanted to like expand uh, my capital with food uh, growing plots so he said that on planets there are like growing plots bases and I can destroy the core put my own core in and then I can get the resources there okay um is that a good plan or uh, is it allowed on this planet it's allowed um we have a farm at our main base down there it's not it's not super big huge it could be expanded on um we we really need okay because the bigger the ships you know the bigger the ships the more fuel they take coming from planet up we really need a farm ship. We either need a farm ship that stays in space, or we need the ability to go down to a planet surface and collect out of a large farm and then bring it back up. One of the two. Now, whenever the uh, new update comes out, they are going to have to wipe all the planets, so any structure on the ground is going to have to be um, removed um, if we have above ground bases they can be blueprinted and given back to us anything below ground basically we have to deconstruct and store ourselves and replace once the uh, wipe has been done all right cool uh, how do you uh, I forget how do you blueprint what's the hotkey alt GR and then something, right? Um, for blueprints? Yeah. Alt and O. The right Alt and O. Hmm. Oh. No. Uh. Yeah, for some reason it doesn't work. You have to use the right Alt. Yeah, the the Alt G R my keyboard. Top of what you wanting to blueprint? I have to be where on top. You have to be standing on the uh, whatever it is you're trying to blueprint. You got to be standing on it. Yeah, I'm trying to blueprint the this uh, capital ship I have. So it's just like a good thing to do to set the other faction. If it glitches out, I'm unlucky, and then I can somehow get it back. Hold down the right alt and then press the O button and it should bring it up. Yeah, I do see the blueprints interface. But it doesn't come up with a dialogue saying, do you want to save this ship? Right, no, no, no. Get out of that and just like stand on your ship in your normal screen and then hit the right alt plus the O button and it'll bring up a new screen. And then at the bottom it should say save as. Did you get it? 
Oh, one. Uh... All right, guys, give me a second and. I'm going to pop up in the other group real quick, and I'll be uh, back here in a second. All right. All right. It's so weird. Yeah, it doesn't work. If I uh, alt O, right alt O. Let me what? do it on the spawn again. I did it the other day. So let me try and do it on this one. Alt O. Yeah, whenever you do Alt and O, does it pull up Save As, Override, or Cancel? Yeah, that's the weird thing. It doesn't come up. I've tried it in other games a uh, long time ago, and it worked. I was playing on another server last week, and I, it didn't work either. I think there's something wrong with my settings or something like that. Oh, there it is. I'll come over here and see if I can blueprint on yours. Yeah, thank you. 